Now, in ministry as exorcists, the role of the Eucharist is, is critical. And actually, in many ways, the demons sort of witness, contrary to their desire, to, to the power and the sacredness of the Eucharist. For example, a fully possessed person often has great difficulty even stepping into a church, nevertheless going to Mass. I remember one uh, woman said that uh, when she, she was practically dragged into church by her father, who was sad that she was possessed, she said that the Eucharist tasted like a dead animal. They just find, the demons find the Eucharist so odious to them because they hate Jesus. S several other possessed people, they can't even step into a church. It's almost like there's a barrier there. And they have a great difficulty even going into a church, a holy place, and, and of course, celebrating the Mass. Uh, so you, you see this aversion to the sacred in those who are possessed, especially uh, to the Eucharist. So what does that tell us? We should have a great devotion to the Eucharist because it is Jesus, body and blood, soul and divinity. And of course, uh, the most important thing you can do uh, in your uh, spiritual life, especially, of course, if you have demonic issues, is to go to confession regularly, go to Mass and Communion. And frankly, if it were I, which I, which I do, uh, I, I go to, of course, celebrate Mass daily. And I recommend you go to Mass every day, too. Um, we, the idea in, in uh, an exorcism is to create an environment that the demons can't stand and leave. And of course, when Jesus is taken into our lives, we take in the Eucharistic food, we become more and more transformed into Jesus. Which is why, by the way, demons hate priests. I just got a, believe it or not, a text uh, yesterday, uh, and the demon said, you stupid priest. That, they often say it to me, you stupid priest. You know, they hate priests. Why? Because we're especially configured to Jesus. And thus offer the Eucharistic sacrifice, that holy, that holy sacrament. So, do a Eucharistic uh, adoration. I do a, at least an hour a day, uh, and I recommend you do as much as you can. Uh, receive the Eucharist. Treasure this great, great gift. Um, it is Jesus Himself, body and blood, soul and divinity, and what a wonderful blessing it is. So, take in the Eucharist and give thanks to God. And may God bless you all.